What's going on today guys? We're here in front of a new customer, St. Augustine. They've made a pretty crucial mistake here and we'll talk about it in a minute and uh, see what we can do to fix this guy up. Ooh, stay tuned. done is airify here but I'll tell you why all right so this is supposed to be a st. Augustine yard they've actually had somebody that was taking care of this but it looks pretty pretty poor to me uh, but what happened was they had a lot of work done to the house and where the contractors had backed into the yard with trucks and such they rutted the yard up really bad so they brought in a bunch of topsoil to fix the roots I would rather see you use sand on something like this. One, because it's neutral. Two, because there's no weeds. And three, three, because the uh, St. Augustine would break right back through sand it was with a little coaxing. I don't know that I'm going to be able to get it to come back up through this dirt, but we're going to give it the old college try. First, first phase here, we verified it. I'm going to run some, I got to do some weed control on it, obviously, so all kinds of stuff in here we're gonna do celsius and dismiss and about a pound of per diamine all right and of course you know when we get all that down we get weeds out of the way we're gonna want to really push this grass really push the heck out of it uh nitrogen is going to go a long way toward getting it to move but also i'm going to put two different fertilizers on this thing crazy i know this is the first swing we're taking at it we'll work on it throughout the summer and see what we get but for nitrogen, the main source of nitrogen, I'm gonna run my super chicken fertilizer, which is uh, uh, equal it'll half urea, half ammonium sulfate, and the rest of the bag is chicken litter and iron. Uh, but I know it goes against what we say a lot of times, but I'm gonna to want to get something MPK wise down here. So we're gonna to want to cover all the bases. I really want to get some super triple phosphate to push those roots and stolons. All that crap. So we want, I'm going to put a 14, 14, 14. This, uh, it's a real slow nitrogen in it though. That's why I'm running the super chicken with it too. It's got some uh, formaldehyde based urea, which is slow. And then the, four, the next 14 in there is super triple phosphate. I know we don't, we talk about not running a lot of phosphates on some of this turf like centipede, but this is St. Augustine. And I think, my thinking is just this one application is going to boost us up enough to really help us push some of this uh, stolen root growth. So let's get it thrown down. I'll show you the uh, trick 14, 14, 14. Really. That's super chicken. And this is the 14, 14, 14. got urea formaldehyde, triple superphosphate, and murate of potash in it. Available at the Triangle Chemical Company, by the way. Alright, let's get this thing on. I gotta turn around backwards, I can't see it. Maybe I should do this better. Stand by. Ah, now I can see it. We're gonna spray and spread the uh, super chicken, then I'm gonna come back and spread the 14-14-14. Uh, 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 I'm running the... Uh, the warm season permagreen, I don't know if you can see it, but the Vanguard, the Vanguard is amazing. It is, I, I like it way better than Honda, because it, uh, it's not fickle. It doesn't, uh, it, it's not as sensitive to old gas, things like that. But, uh, it's not gonna crank, as I said, it is, but usually. First pull cranking, super quiet. All right, I gotta go to work here. get the idea. Hear that quiet Vanguard? Alright, I'll be back. Ooh, ah, 
that's the 14, 14, 14. I'm just gonna run a light amount out. It's 50 pounds over the whole yard. I didn't show you the backyard yet. The backyard's in pretty good shape. The front is where we're gonna have to do most of our work. The front is not good. And here's the back. I mean, way better than the front, obviously, but it's still not ideal. All right, keep an eye on this and I'll keep you posted. All right, well, that's about all I can do this time. We'll see where it gets us. Put sand on it, not dirt. All right, throughout the rest of the summer, we'll continue to uh, try to push the growth on the St. Augustine with, uh, you know, some nitrogen fertilizer and also monitor it for things like uh, patch funguses and uh, chinch bugs love this stuff. It's like filet mignon to them. So we'll keep an eye on it. Make sure we don't get a insect problem and fall army worms, that kind of stuff. And uh, keep pushing it. So there's your St. Augustine grow in attempt.